We get, uh, in most years, 25 to 30 applicants uh, for five ministry-funded positions. Uh, we do uh, uh, sometimes accept uh, foreign-funded trainings as well in our program. Well, I think you know, residents really prime the academic enterprise, and uh, so as faculty we get excited when we come across somebody who uh, inspires and, uh, and is excited to participate in uh, the academic enterprise and uh, get, their, uh, get their hands dirty with, uh, with, the, the, with research and with, uh, with education and teaching. Uh, we have um, a great solid base in clinical respirology, uh, in general respirology, uh, but I think that we also uh, offer some clinical experiences that uh, can be difficult to find elsewhere. We have uh, the largest uh, lung transplantation and cystic fibrosis programs in Canada. Uh, we have a very active uh, sleep medicine program here, uh, and we have expertise in uh, really all the various different areas of respirology that. Uh, that you could want to, uh, to learn. And alongside the clinical training, we also offer uh, the opportunity to get some academic training. And so uh, uh, we make sure that our uh, residents have an exposure to scholarly activity in medicine. Uh, and we define that very broadly. Uh, it could be uh, clinical research, basic science research, knowledge translation, uh, and uh, even quality improvement uh, research. Uh, these are all aspects of uh, what we do in our program. Uh, we have a uh, well-developed academic half day uh, which uh, includes um, this year a, a procedural curriculum uh, which is a bit of a new innovation in our program. The size of our program also means that we have uh, critical mass for, I think for a lot of educational activities. Uh, I think we uh, do a, a pretty good job of preparing our students for uh, for certifying exams, uh, we do uh, uh, practice uh, in training oral and uh, OSCE exams. We have Royal College style radiology sessions that I think uh, really uh, prepare our residents for uh, not only their certifying exams but uh, for the rest of their careers. I think that we need to take meaningful risks in our programs uh, to see if we can move things forward to, uh, to bring some new, uh, new innovations to the program. and. Uh, uh, and enhance our programs. I think that the future of medicine is really the trainees that come out of the program and uh, uh, I think that uh, we get really high quality trainees in Toronto uh, and uh, I think that these are people that are going to go out and make a big impact in, uh, in the future of medicine. Uh, I think that um, uh, the impact that we have is, is largely uh, by training people and having them go out and, and show what they can do.